Hello friends, Coolio here and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we are checking out a brand new tower defense hero collector that just went into alpha earlier today called War of Embers. Now if you guys enjoyed today's video and want to see more videos like this, then make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I see you guys there. Hit those buttons. Also, comment down below if you guys have any suggestions for games you want me to check out. And yes, the post that I did about Call of Duty Mobile, you guys kind of blew it away. We will be doing a Call of Duty Mobile video very, very soon. But let's go ahead and jump into this game, just jumping straight into the story mode itself. Now, this game really, really reminds me of Ark Knights. Basically, like if if you're not a big fan of the anime, dark, cyberpunk, futuristic version and art style or whatever feel that Ark Knights is, maybe you'll be down for a dark fantasy version of that game. Like this game definitely reminds me of Ark Knights. So I think it's better. Uh, it's an alpha. So there's still a bunch of kinks and bugs and a bunch of other content not available into the game. But I do think this game has a lot of potential and there's actually quite a lot of polish behind it, specifically when it comes to like the voice acting for the characters, the character design, and then the summoning in this game is kind of wild. So let's go ahead and place down a couple of units. I'm going to place him here, Slazar, and then what's the range on this person? We'll cover the middle right there. Um, let's do her right there. Now, similar to how Ark Knights does it, these heroes have specific classes. There's like tanks. Uh, what are they? There's like a version where like you get more uh, soul stones, which is basically how you summon characters in this game. Uh, there's warriors, there's defenders, clerics, things like that. You'll notice a lot of like uh, similarities between Ark Knights. Another one is like there are certain characters that have higher uh, defense, like enemies have higher defense physically, and you'll need to summon heroes that can attack them magically. It's a lot of very, very similar gameplay. I've been actually enjoying it quite a lot. I, I've a big, big fan of fantasy games and fantasy movies and fantasy books. And I really like the overall art style that this game has going for it. And honestly, even for an alpha test, it's running pretty dang well. Um, let's see if we can't get ourselves a couple of, uh, I want to summon some mage users in just a second. Because there's a couple of really strong dudes up there that my ranger's attacking. But if we can go ahead and drop this guy down right here, he can do some AoE burst damage to some of these enemies. We can deploy at least one more unit, which I think I'll probably save for a mage. Uh, we still have a couple of enemies still coming. Uh, you can see up at the top, I have a total of three health points. If three enemies get through, then I end up felling. Um, let's go ahead and drop that guy right there. Honestly, I think we should be okay on this stage. There is times two speed, which unlocks really, really early in the game. Um, I think it's like your first or second stage. And on top of like the game being free to play friendly and like hero summons and duplicates and all that kind of stuff, which I'll talk about in just a second. The game actually gives out a free premium summon crystal, like one, ev almost every single stage that you complete. Like I'm on stage 13 and I already have another 10 crystals in order for me to, uh, to do a 10 times summon. There's also a couple of achievements. Once you get to like level three, you get another 10 times summons. Once you've summoned a certain amount of heroes, you'll be able to do another one. So we might be able to do roughly around 20 summons in the video. Now, another thing uh, with these characters is there's a little energy bar that you can activate, which is basically a specialized ability. We can go ahead and use her special ability. Summons a her. What's it called? A frost storm. Why can't, a blizzard. That's the word I'm thinking of. We gain a couple of experience points. We get a crystal that we can use for summoning as well as some gold as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into the next stage and we'll do I'll do like a full actual gameplay for this one. What it's actually like for me when I'm when I've been playing this game. Now, with this alpha test, the servers will be wiped for the official launch. And I believe there's going to be an alpha test and then there's going to be a beta test and then they're going to do the official launch shortly after that. So uh, let's go ahead and summon ourselves a couple of these dudes. Now He is capable of helping you summon more units when you activate his specialized ability. So I do want to end up trying to summon him real quick. Um, I love, where, where are they? This girl is awesome. She does like an insane amount of single target damage at the cost of like sacrificing how much max health points that she has. Um, let's go ahead and summon our physical ranger right there. And then we'll go ahead and turn on times two speed. And so we can actually see physically like how this is going to uh, actually end up working. So put a defender right there. And then hopefully we'll be able to get enough points to be able to summon another defender. Okay, good. Whew, that was a close one. I thought that scorpion was going to get past her. 
And then we are going to summon some of our mages here in just a second to help out. Ooh, let's go ahead and activate his ability. The Hellfire. Activate her specialized ability. And we need to go ahead and start summoning some of these mages to help out. Um, I think we'll be good to summon her right there in the center. And then there is healing characters, like support characters in this game. We can go ahead and summon her right there. And she does like a ton of healing. I have another character where like when you summon her, she has a, like an extra companion that she'll eventually end up summoning. That she can help heal characters. Let's go ahead and start activating some more of these abilities. I actually really do like the different abilities I've seen so far in this game. Like there's a defender that basically this guy here increases his defense, but he become uh, but attacks intervals become 50% longer. Basically, he slows down his attack speed in order to get higher uh, higher defense. So anyone else, we can go ahead and activate her blizzard ability, which has a ton of range, might I say. Like she's awesome. And I've noticed too, like, at least in the alpha test, there really isn't re-rolling. It looks like your very first, like, 10 times summons are going to be the exact same as everybody else. I mean, you could probably save up more crystals afterwards and try to do another 10 times summon. But again, it's alpha testing. Don't worry about it. So that's what the gameplay looks like. I enjoy the gameplay loop. I mean, it's very similar to Ark Knights. It's a tower defense game, but it's got that fantasy flair behind it. Right now, they've got a bunch of challenges, achievements, and things in the game that you can accomplish. I'm assuming there's probably going to be a lot more once the game actually comes out. And then when it comes to the actual hero progression in this game, it's actually fairly simplified right now. And I can tell you that there is uh, a way that you can use duplicates to power up your characters. But I don't want to say it's pay to win because it does look like you can actually get other materials in replace of duplicates in order to upgrade your character. So, for example, Siren here, who has an insane summoning animation. This is the summoning animation for her. You'll probably notice the physics right off the bat. <laughs> but this is the summoning animation. And the summoning animations for, like, the really, really rare characters are quite long. This is basically what it looks like when you summon her into the game. Man, the graphics look pretty good. Boom. So there you go. That's Siren. She's probably the guaranteed five star you're going to get in the game. But if we head on over to Hero Details, you can see their overall stats, their abilities down below, their passives. You can level them up, their attack range. But let's go ahead and talk about the promotion in this game. Now, you can promote a character up to five times. And every time you promote them, they unlock a specialized bonus. So the first time you do it, the soul crystals required for deploying that character is reduced by one. The cooldown for redeployment is reduced by four seconds. Once you get her to level three, her attack increases by 25. Uh, cooling down for redeployment, you get another reduction of four seconds and then soul crystals required for deployment minus one. Now you'll notice right there, I can either use Siren Souls or Warlock Soul Stones. Now it looks like Warlock Soul Stones are way, or specialized items that you can get by playing through the game which you can then use to upgrade your characters if you don't have the necessary shards to do so i i'm a big fan of that because honestly like there's a lot of games that really require you to get duplicates i'm glad this game has an alternative to that but we can go ahead and take a look at some of the other characters i have in this game four star gray who looks freaking awesome salazar salazar slytherin bayram sia nior i do like the character designs camille Raven, Lisa, Lilia, the Flash Lord, Lang Nero, Gru, and then Siren. So one thing I'm really hoping will come out of this game is that even if you don't have like the rarest characters in the game, at least the lower star characters are still useful. Like in Dark Knights, there are characters that aren't the rarest ones that are actually really useful and you need them for certain stages and stuff. I'm really, really hoping the same thing happens for this game as well. So basically, the only thing that we really have left to do now is we're going to go and do 10 times summons. If we end up getting one brand new character, just one, we'll be able to do another 10 times summon as we will complete an achievement. Now, there is a character on here, Davian, which looks amazing. I'm going to show you guys his summoning animations, and that's what we're hoping to get. So here we go. This is his summoning animation when you end up getting this character.
So yeah, it's a pretty wild summoning animation. So here we go, 10 times summon. If we get at least one brand new character, we'll be able to do another 10 times summon. So here we go. I don't know what the summoning rates are. I don't think there was a way to even tell during the alpha test. It's gold. I think that means we're going to get a five star. So we got Gru. I don't know why, but I like the fact that they have that kind of little platform on their feet. It kind of reminds me of like mini figures that you use for like D&D &D or like Warhammer and stuff like that. So I don't know why, but I really like that. Raven. The Lash Lord. Her name is Sia Nero. Mill. As of right now, I don't think there's really a whole lot of characters in the game, but it is an alpha test, so I'm hoping they're going to add a lot more characters. So we did get uh, another ver or another siren. We're just going to go ahead and push past that. I don't think we're going to get that dragon. If we got the dragon, that'd be freaking awesome, even though my account would get wiped anyway. And I don't think we're going to get one brand. I think the only other character I really don't have in this game is that dragon. Every other character is basically like everyone's going to end up getting them. So we got a bunch of soul stones. We do have two more summons. I mean, why not? If we end up getting the dude, that'd be awesome. Looks like we're probably going to get a four star. I think if it like shines purple, it's a four star. If it goes gold right here, I think it's a five star. Oh, oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, like seriously, how freaking dope does this character look? It's like one of the coolest looking summoning animations and character designs I've seen in a long time. He's a freaking six eyed dragon. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm glad that we did at least one time summon. Honestly, there really isn't anything else to summon for. I'm pretty sure there's only 13 heroes in this test. So maybe we won't do another summon because I'm pretty sure that's the last one. But we, I mean, we can at least go and take a look at this dude because he's freaking sweet looking. Yeah, that is dope. So you guys go um, War of Embers. I I think it's a cool game. I'm excited for its official release. I think it's doing a lot of things right. Hopefully we get more heroes down the line. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this game down below. Again, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And guys, my name's Coolio, and I'll see you next time.